This is the demo of a no IMA at 12 volt charging in operation and you can see uh, I've taken my battery out now of the nickel metal hydride car and I've just got this simply wired in uh, as a demonstration it's not fixed down at all so basically we have the uh, three phase wires here the car is actually running uh, it's just ticking over and you can see the uh, charging voltage is 14.13 volts and the uh, PSU is running and so basically we just have the um, three phase rectifier here uh, rectifies the three phase output from the IMA motor and then you have the DSA meanwhile power supply that drops it down to the isolated uh, 12 volts that we need for the charging obviously the dash is lit up like a Christmas tree 12 volt charging lights on the IMA lights on obviously because we have no IMA etc and, and the car doesn't know that the 12 volt battery is actually being charged but it is as you can see there 14.13 volts uh, so you could uh, drive the car quite happily with this setup now obviously you just got it all clutched together you only need this power supply and the three phase rectifier and relay etc so you could make that very neat in the corner or something and just attach it to the um, compartment here that we have I just happen to have it on this heat sink because that's what I had um, about kicking around and this is basically the same principle as the uh, Insight and all the other IMA cars they can all operate one of these DC power supplies and this is actually working okay at tick over as you can see and uh, if I just go look in the car there's nothing to see really much in here as you would expect the IMA light on and the 12 volt charging light is on but the uh, um, power supply is actually working as you saw at the back there I'll just turn the lights on see what happens Now I've turned the lights on and the voltage has dropped down and that's because there's not quite enough power at tick over or voltage at tick over. I have to rev the engine a bit to uh, provide enough power for the lights at tick over because it's only ticking over at 1000 RPM now. And I've just heard the um, power supply come back on again in the back now. So at, 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 to tick over there's enough power to sustain the car without lights on and things like that. Um, but you need to be driving along to sustain the load from the lights etc. It needs to be doing 1500 RPM or something like that to sustain the load from the lights. I can feel the uh, load. Uh, so that's a very efficient way of using the IMA motor uh, as a generator. The reason this one probably operates very slightly lower is because the IMA motor is slightly lower output than the inside and it's designed for a slightly lower voltage uh, so the power supply has to work at a lower voltage but you know you can get different variations of power supplies but this just demonstrates that uh, you can run the car uh, successfully I can hear the power supply uh, fan running in the back turn the fans off uh, very slight change in note there you can just hear the slight change in engine note as the um, alternator loads basically as the IMA motor loads but Obviously the car is going to be fairly gutless without the IMA. There's absolutely no reason why you can't drive it around like that if that's what you wanted to do. So let's just go back. So it's ticking over again now. And uh, as you can see, the output is 14.13 uh, volts at the back here. You can adjust the voltage on the uh, meanwhile power supply, the output voltage. And this weird resistor thing I've got here is just to make the fan a bit quieter. That's on the side there. Um, so the fan is quite noisy but obviously if you had it under the carpet and under the floor here you're not going to hear it anyway so that's the, uh, a quick demo this is just before I fit all the Frankenstein pack stuff uh, so this was just a quick rough demo These, none of this is done properly this is all just cobbled together with insulating tape etc just to show you that the power supply system can work instead of having to fix an alternator at the front which is a, a nightmare and uh, this is a very good way of using the already very efficient IMA motor at the front as a generator.